Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. This is Olaf from Mobile Wiz Tech. Today, I'm going to talk about this phone screen enlarger with the included Bluetooth speaker. And I'll be jumping right in right after this. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like videos like this or you're not new to my channel and you've been watching my videos and you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe and a notification bell button so that way you can stay up to date whenever I post new content on my channel. Now regarding the assembly of this phone screen magnifier, I won't spend time there for the time sake of the video because it's extremely, extremely straightforward. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a phone screen magnifier and it's pretty cool because it does come with the Bluetooth speaker and all you would do is actually just stick your phone here at the back just like that and then once that's done when you're playing your videos of course the sound will come out of here of course you can also connect your wireless earbuds or headphones to your phone if you didn't want the sound to come out the speaker but it also comes with this here which is a gooseneck so you can extend this out and you can clamp this to like a table and that way you can have it floating in a sense if you may so you can watch it that way as well and I'll show you what I mean here so you can see how they have this demonstrated here you can have it again clamped to like your table your nightstand and then you can view it that way as well or you can just have it on your desk just like I have it here now regarding power it does come with this micro USB type A cable so one way you can do it is Plug this in here, the micro USB part, and then the other part to your AC adapter or power supply, and then plug it into the wall. Or the other way you can do it is install a, which it does not come with, an 18650 battery, which is rechargeable. Then once you have that in there, you can go ahead and charge the battery up, and the way you charge the battery up again is by plugging the micro USB cable here and they will charge the battery and then once you have that then you wouldn't have to have a cable in there all the time then you'll press the power button down for about three seconds until it starts to blink and it will announce the device is on and then you will go ahead and connect your phone to it now once you do have power from either method you just go ahead and press the power button down for about three seconds and then you'll hear a voice saying that the device is powered on or is ready to pair something like that and then you would just go ahead and get your phone and connect to it just like you would any other bluetooth device then once that's done you're all set next thing that you would do is of course place your phone here but before i do so i'm going to take my s pen out and i'll show you why in just a moment now if you would like to know how i got that sound on there when removing the s pen Watch that video right there and it walks you right through on how to do it. But now what you would do, let's say, let me choose a video. And again, this will work with Netflix or any of your videos that you stream with or watch. It doesn't have to be a necessary stream. But now what you would do is go ahead and start your video. So let's say I choose this one. And then I'll go ahead and just pause it real quick and then place it here just like so. And then I'm ready to roll. And then of course, the next thing you want to do is power it on. Let's see, oops, hold it on for three seconds. The Bluetooth device is ready to power. And it should say connected in a few the moments. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. <laughs> All right, so that's connected. Now, if you have a wireless Bluetooth headset, you can just go ahead and Play pause it from there if it allows you to do so or the same thing from your wireless earbuds so if, if either one of those allows you to play and pause from there you can go ahead and hit play from your headset to play your video or you can actually just reach over and press the play button there but of course me being a note user my s pen will serve as my play pause remote so i'll just press the s pen button there Hey, what's up, everybody? It's good to go. The sound is coming out of here. 
Wiz Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to be doing a continuation or part two of your name on how you can cast trying to give you a better view of it from your phone or your tablet and I'll show you just what I mean uh, Grab this. so pause this so trying to view this through the camera lens it looks like you're looking through a piece of plastic and looking at the regular size screen but it's actually pretty full and magnified but looking at it through here it won't do us justice but the further away you are the more full it is so just keep that in mind that it doesn't look just like this when you're in person just about this entire screen is filled up now if you're interested in this I will have a link posted in the description make sure you use that link as it does help me out if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button also share and subscribe i thank you for watching and until next time keep it mobile